Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install virtual reality into Half-Life. The reason I'm making this video is uh, a lot of people have installed this mod and as they launch it they receive this client.dll error. Um, I was getting that error too, but I found a way to fix it. It's really easy to fix, it takes a couple of seconds to do, it's really simple. So uh, yeah, let's get right into this. First of all, uh, start off by actually owning uh, Half-Life in your Steam library. Um, you must run Half-Life in windowed mode. I'm, run it, I'm running it in windowed mode for the uh, virtual reality mod. If you run it in full screen, when you press escape to go to the menu of Half-Life, it's going to give you all kinds of strange bugs. It's not going to look very nice, so make sure you are running Half-Life in windowed mode. Um, head over to the uh, Half-Life directory. I'm going to do this by right-clicking Half-Life, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Now I already have the mod installed, but just for the sake of it, I'm going to overwrite my files to show you guys. So uh, let's head over to the download page. This is for the Oculus Rift. Hand controllers work, analog sticks work. The controls are quite difficult sometimes, it can be quite complicated. But once you get used to it, it is really good fun. So uh, once you're on this page, scroll down. Click download. Half-Life running fix, click that. Files downloaded. Open the zip file. And from here we're going to want vr start.bat readme and opengl32. Drag and drop these files into the Half-Life directory. I'm going to replace them. It's really important that we make sure we uh, set opengl32 dll to read only, otherwise it's going to get deleted. Now at this point the mod's installed. Uh, all you have to do is click start.bat, uh, but when some people do this, they receive client.dll error. So I'm going to just show you how to fix it. Head over to the VR folder. Right click open VR underscore API dot DLL. Copy that and paste that into the Half-Life directory. I've already done this but I'm just going to replace it just to show you. And for the sake of it we're going to make sure that this file's protected as well. Set it to read only so it's not going to get deleted. And that's it guys, the mod is installed. This time when you click start.bat it should load up to the Half-Life menu everything should be working as it should so yeah I'll do a quick uh, gameplay video to show that it does work so yeah that's it guys all installed and ready to play um, any problems if you are having problems still write a comment and I'll see if I can help out as best as I can thanks for watching Vital sign monitoring activated automatic medical system engaged.